Next, is it the final frontier for artificial intelligence? Well, as we mentioned, a Google computer program has once again beaten a world champion in Go, an ancient Chinese game similar to chess. It's another milestone in the rush to develop machines that are smarter than humans. Owen Fairclough reports. At just 23, Couture is the world champion in Go, a Chinese game that's been played for thousands of years. But this grandmaster prodigy has been humbled by Google's AlphaGo program, beaten twice in a best of three games. But he's gracious in defeat. The first time we played, I thought it played a lot like a human. Now I feel like his game is more and more like the Go god. Really, it is brilliant. This is the second time AlphaGo has bested the best. Last year, humbling 18-time world champion, South Korea's Lee Sedol. Though at least he won once in the five-game series. Go is a hugely popular game across Asia. You play by placing counters on grid lines. I'm trying to score points by surrounding and trapping my opponent's white counters with my black ones. It's easy to beat a beginner like me, but developing an algorithm with the ability to outthink the world's best is a big feather in Google's cap with huge commercial opportunities. It's in a race with Silicon Valley rivals to perfect artificial intelligence programs that can do everything from drive our cars to making a decent espresso. And if you're worried about machines taking over, Google's parent company thinks there are opportunities rather than rivalries. Regardless of the outcome of the match, humanity wins. And the reason is that this is not a contest of person and computer, but eventually it will be computer with person helping. The computer doing very good things and the person doing very good things. For Couture, there's a chance to restore some pride when he's due to face off for the third time against AlphaGo this Saturday. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.